Hey guys, this is Beck, and um, I wanted to make a video today to show you guys exactly how to verify your account, your website, um, to prove that you own the website, okay? Because I've just fluffed around for the last half an hour doing this, and I want to save you some time because it's literally a two minute job. Okay, so. The reason why I was doing this, I'm going to show you, is because I wanted to link my website to my YouTube channel. Alright, so to do that, I'm not going to go through everything in detail, but I'll give you the basics. You go to this gear here, alright, you go to advanced settings. You can always play this video back, guys, if you need to... Um, to check it out. Alright, you scroll down here to Associated Website. Now there's many reasons for doing this but um, I just wanted to show you that you know this is the process to just show verify your account. Alright, so um, what I've done is Associated Website, put in your website address and click um, Go or hang on, let's see if I could add another No, I can't. Okay. So basically do that. Okay. Go to your website, go to your uh, YouTube, put in the HTTP and your website address that you want to link it to and save. Okay. The next thing you need to do is go over to WordPress. Now, this is my WordPress site and you need to add in, it gives you instructions and says, um, there's a couple of different ways you can actually verify, all right? It'll say, oh, you can verify by adding a uh, meta tag and adding all sorts of different things. Oh, this is not even what I was looking for. Okay. All right. But basically, once you, you put your email, your website address in there, it's going to give you a list of things that you can do to verify your website and prove that it's yours, okay? And some of them are quite technical, and I'm not all that technical, so I just thought I'd show you guys how I have to go through this as well. Now, if your website is WordPress and you own it, you go to your WordPress website, you log in, all right? This is my site, this is my dashboard. Okay, you go and hover over Appearance. You then go down to Editor editor okay now it says that is discouraged etc etc that's fine we want to proceed now what we want to do is it'll tell you on the YouTube um, instructions that you have to add this code which it will it's copy and paste the code so there's nothing difficult there but you've got to add this code into the header of your WordPress or whatever website now you've got to find the header to add it in first. So um, you don't need to add another widget, you don't need to add any um, any new menus or any new programs. All you do is scroll down this template section. This is all the pages that you have on your WordPress website, all right, in technical terms. Now I've got the latest version of WordPress and it is November 2016. All right, now where I found it was in not header content, okay, because you're wanting to put it in the header. Now look carefully down this right-hand side and you'll see header content, header menu, image, all sorts of different options here. The one you want to put it in is page-header.php. Click on it. It's going to give you a warning again, discouraged. Okay, we want to proceed. Okay. Uh, no, that's not actually the one. Um, content front page. No, it's not that one. It's not that one. Sorry, I've given you the wrong one. Hang on a minute. Um, no, it's not page header. Header. Let's just look in post header for a minute. No, that's not it. Theme header. 
Theme header. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Um, okay, it took me a while to find this. That's why I'm getting confused because there's so many different headers. Okay, so it's theme header that you are looking for. I'm just, I hope you can see that okay. Um, I've got my little my little thing over there so you can see click on theme header this is what comes up all right as soon as you see that word head and the arrows put your put your link in there don't worry about it's not sitting in line or anything like that just put your link in there update file go back to your YouTube account that's successfully edited go back to your YouTube account and click verify all right and I got success so this works and it's such a simple process but it's just tricky to find it because I searched everywhere and I couldn't find anyone else who showed us how to do it so guys I hope that's been helpful for you today um, I certainly learned something hope you did too have an awesome day and like my channel if you like this see you guys